Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Pearl Wedlock, and if you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, we actually went and taken care of Crash Awake, and now guys, we're going to be taking care of the Team Galactic Grunt that is going to be here in Pastoria City, and also too, we're going to be heading to the other side uh, to get back to Heart Home, and uh, we're actually going to be heading on over to the Trophy Garden if we do have enough time, and same with heading on over to Fantina's Gym, which I don't think we're going to be taking care of her uh, in this episode episode at all uh but hopefully we can just reach on over to our gym and then we can start doing some other things there uh but for right now uh if you guys haven't checked out the last episode i actually did a lot of off record grinding and got up uh to uh to my pokemon uh to evolve which that is for wimber dam and also for for alligator as well too uh or i should say uh for uh for totodile because we got up to a croconaut and then also got up to a for alligator which that is pretty nice and we also got some new moves which that is also pretty good as well too but to start off with here first, we got ourselves Nitro level 35 with Bite Roar, Fire Fang, and Aura Sluice. Unfortunately, uh, since Arcanine uh, is basically uh, this Pokemon right now, uh, I believe Arcanine doesn't really get any moves at all uh, because you actually get because you actually have to have a uh, Growlithe uh, to get all the other uh, really cool moves uh, for it. But anyways, we also have Zilla at level 35 with Payback, Rock Slide, Dark Pulse, and Thrash, which that's going to be pretty nice uh, for the battle with Fantina. Uh, we also have Izzy, uh, level 35, with Hydro Cannon Cut, Cross Poison, and Rest. And uh, yes, I do have Hydro Cannon and Cross Poison put on Izzy, because if you guys don't know, I actually made all the TMs all accessible for all Pokemon. Uh, and uh, I know that Izzy's not all that too good with any type of moves uh, right now, but uh, I just put on Hydro Cannon and Cross Poison, so at least that is going to be somewhat helpful uh, for us. We also have Dumbo at level 35 with Slam Assurance, Rollout, and Magnitude. Fiona at level 36 with Side Beam, Tackle, Razor Leaf, and Growth. We also have Rashar level 35 with Thrash, Bubble Beam, Ice Fang, and Crunch. And I believe that is, yeah, that is everybody on the squad. So uh, let's go and talk to this Galactic Grunt here and let's see uh, what he has to say now. We already just taken care of Crash Awake. So uh, the package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. And this is uh, an important mission. No feeling allowed. No making boo boos like wandering off into the Great Marsh. Uh, you, you were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. If I was in a hurry, I'll paralyze you with my Pokemon, but I have to get on my way like ASAP, so you're lucky, so I'm out. Oh, and listen up. You don't dare follow me. Oh, yeah? Well, let's go. Let's follow him even more. I kind of like this part because this is kind of like nice and relaxed for a little while because you don't really have to worry about doing like any type of battles, uh, not for the time being until once we actually do. Oh, and here we go. Here comes out our dude Draco. Huh? I'm not always going to plow you into every time that we meet. So how's it going, Prox? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? Well, I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough you are. Oh man, so instead of us actually going to take him on uh, in Pokemon Platinum, like uh, just before taking on Crash Awake, we're going to be doing it right on after. So let's see what he's got up in store. So he still has a Starly, really? At level 26, you would have already had a Staravia, my friend, already by now, I think, wouldn't it? Like, I think around like level, probably like level 20 or so, it should at least be like a Staravia by now. But you know what? This is going to go by very quick and simple out here, Draco. We're just going to let Nitro take care of all of this. Also got a Weasel coming out, which that is perfect for us because we actually do have Razor Leaf with Fiona. And Fiona is going to be our partner up Pokemon here with Nitro, so let's go and do that. I think having a word down on this team is going to be uh, quite useful for, for the time being. Even though that I'm not really all that too big of a of a Burmy fan, but uh, but I think Wormadam is pretty all right because like uh, once we head up to I believe level 46, we should be able to get uh, a really cool move, uh, which that is Leaf Storm, and that's going to do quite a bit of damage on on a lot of the uh, Rock type Pokemon that we're going to be seeing. Then we also have Monferno, which that is a good idea to switch on out back to Nitro, because uh, we don't really want to get uh, Fiona get destroyed out here too early. So, a Monferno, huh? Now, I don't think Mock Punch is going to do that much damage, but I know that the Mock Punch literally killed us the last time. So, it doesn't do that much damage, but we'll just keep on doing what we're doing right now. 
So Furious West is not going to really touch us because uh, Nitro is pretty defensively good. Oh, and uh, also uh, as well, um, since today is actually uh, Tuesday out here, uh, and you guys are going to be seeing this video happen on Friday, uh, we just got a a, a, a new announcement uh, for the Crown Tundra stuff that was happening, and uh, I have to say it's actually pretty cool. Uh, because all the legendary Pokemon that are going to be happening uh, for this type of DLC, uh, like Latios and Latias, and I believe uh, also Rayquaza, they're all going to be getting like Dynamax evolutions, and that's going to be pretty freaking neat. Uh, unfortunately, um, they're not going to be Gigantamax though, so so unfortunately there's going to be no changes uh, with any of their forms or anything. But um, but I think Dynamax, uh, Latios, and Latias, and, and Rayquaza would be somewhat pretty cool. Um, but uh, let me in, uh, uh, let me know uh, in the for the comment question of the day actually uh, since we are talking about uh, the Crown uh, Tundra DLC uh, trailer. If you guys have seen the trailer, uh, let me know uh, what you guys think about it um, because I will be doing a uh, a let's play of that pretty soon. Uh, and if you guys don't know, I am going to be uh, having an intro uh, for that series. So hope you guys do enjoy out, uh, out on the intro as well too. And uh, also as well too, guys, uh, if you are new to the channel, of course, uh, I do have merchandise now. Uh, on on this channel uh, I don't have channel merch yet but I just have uh, just some normal uh, merchandise which that is just gonna be uh, for the cage lock uh, so you guys can go and uh, cop up a, uh, or uh, yeah you guys could uh, cop up a merch if you guys want to or anything like that and let's just stay on out here so got Roselia so it's not going to be that too much of a problem anyways, unless if you have Stun Spore already on your guy. But we'll go a lot quicker, because we're faster. So here comes the fire fake to the face. And bye bye dude. Be gone. That's so nice. Hopefully we can find a TF for Flamethrower. Cause then if that if that is gonna be the case, then I can actually just go and stick that right on to Nitro. No questions about it. Huh. So maybe you did get a little bit tougher since the last time, so that even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. So hey, that was Team Black, the guy all freaky out about. I don't know what he's up to, but you should go and chase him down. If you're not a po if you're not a Pokemon and you run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, Prox. Next time I'm not holding back. Well, the next time that we're gonna be seeing you is gonna be over at Candle Wave. So hopefully you're gonna be ready. When I do show up there. Alright, here we are back at Route 213. Now, I know that I didn't do any of the battles here, but I could actually go and do the battles now if I wanted to, but I'm not going to really uh, worry about that right now at the moment. That Pokeball is going to try and uh, try and taunt me. I don't know what that Pokeball is going to be about, because I know that those are all randomized items. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this, therefore our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Uh-oh. Ah, God, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest, and I'm getting tired of running away. But I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Oh, yeah? Come back here, you... Was, oh, God. Whoa! Aw, oh, man. I knew that I was going to be trying to battle out one of you guys here at some point. But it looks like I have to go about it. the tuber goal next. Fine. I think all that she really has is a shell host, doesn't she? No, a bee barrel. Okay. Wow, bee barrel is already here already. Oh, let's just go for a normal bite. I don't think this normal bite's gonna really kill it, but. Yeah, almost. Hyper Fang, ouch. But we still got that leftovers here, so I can't recover back still on my health. Here we go, one more bite to the face. Now, I don't know if Scythia gives us uh, HML2 fly now, or if we have to wait until, like, Celestic Town, but... Because, like, that'd be so nice if we were just be able to just freaking fly right on over to Heart Home and we don't have to worry about trying to... Waste out more time on just trying to cross from one place to the other. Well, we already got the sweet key already, so we don't have to worry about that. But this should be the last and uh, 
I think there's only like two more times that we just have to interact with this guy here. So now he's just chilling up on the very top. Ugh. Why am I running like this anyways? That new universe that the boss was talking about is getting me goosebumps just thinking about it, so we use this. Ah, uh, God, you're eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're, you're persistent, too. I'm all pooped out from running, but I'm not. I'm not going to battle you. But you are, though. Ah, uh, I won't do it if it's the last thing that I do. Now, I think uh, this guy only has a gold bet, doesn't he? So I can just switch out right into Rapture out here. And we'll use Rapture for this. Ah, uh, no, you're still on my tail. You're in the lakes with his sight. You leave me no choice, but my Pokeball will KO you. Let's do it. It has one Pokemon. It is a Glamio. Okay, I thought it was a, I thought it was a Golbat. Either way, this should actually work. Oh, let's up for. Oh wow, we actually do have Crunch. I totally forgot about that. Let's see. Is Bulby just gonna knock it out anyways? It's just a Glamio. There we go. Nice. Fiona is going to get up to some more AXP, but not going to be getting any levels. Well, I can't battle anymore. I'm just running off views. I'll have to give this out to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. Uh, now he's just really tired now. now. I believe we should be seeing this video up ahead. Here she is. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came up to research for the folklore about the lake, but... Well, it doesn't appear as if the lake has opened to the public now, but have you heard of the folklore about it? They said there's an island inside the lake, and inside that island is a mirage of Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. And sorry to change the subject, but have you ever seen a group of Psyduck on Route 210? Of course we have. So yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that the group of Psyduck huddled around with their heads in their uh, hands. Uh, anyways, uh, what uh, what you should do is, is use this method on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it would be worthwhile for you. Nice, we got ourselves the secret potion, so it looks like we're making our way on over to Celestic Town. So I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger, so I hope uh, you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see, so it may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. Okay, so that is about it for that. Um, so there's no HMO2 fly yet, because I think we have to grab that at Celestic, but uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time to actually reach out over back to the Trophy Garden. But, uh, I guess I'll just call it apart here soon. Let's just make all the way back down here. Run! Okay, I think I'll just end it off here. Alright guys, so I'm going to end off this episode here for today. It seems like we're not going to be making our way down to the Trophy Garden yet. Or making our way on over to Heart Home either. Because it looks like we actually have to reach on over to Celestic first. And then we'll make our way on over to Heart Home. And then we should uh, basically make our way on over to Candlelave right on after once we take care of Fantina. So anyways, uh, also too guys, don't forget about the comment question of the day. Uh, which I already said uh uh, basically uh, in this episode uh, and uh, yeah so the next part we'll just uh, head on over to route 210 and I'll see you guys then and peace